I've had many viewers comment that when they go to do my striping effect, my striping technique, they end up with a muddled look. So I thought I would do a video on just that painting technique. I won't be bringing out this canvas at all today. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just put a straight line across my canvas. And then that way my bolder striping will be on the bottom and then I'm going to do a more blended striping up top. And sometimes, if you've seen my videos lately, I've done them on an angle and I have used painter's tape now to tape that off. And then that way I can do a nice straight brush stroke. But I'm not gonna bother doing that today. This is just for the striping effect. Now the first and foremost thing that I can say to you guys is just relax, breathe, and have some fun with it. It's just canvas and paint, and if it doesn't work out, you can paint over it again in white and then start all over again. And you can also practice on a piece of cardboard, or even if you have an extra canvas, practice on it and just keep that canvas for later practicing. It doesn't matter if it's already a bunch of colors. It's just to give yourself um, a little practice, right? So I always like to put some paper towel. I used to use a paper plate and scoop up the extra paint, but I've come across my canvas before and some drips dripped off my brush. So now I put paper towel up there and then I always like to brush away from myself because it helps with the pressure on my brush and then when I'm coming down my canvas I can just swipe the extra paint away and you'll see what I mean here in a minute. That's a big tip. I know it helps me because when I'm painting away from myself I, I know that my brush stroke, the pressure, isn't going to get heavy. If I'm brushing towards myself, I tend to push down on the canvas more by the time I get to the edge. And that pressure is something that I can't show you. That is something that comes with practice. And another thing is you want a nice, soft, flat blending brush. My preference is these Eortas. I get these from Amazon. I think they're a really good deal. They're nice and soft, and they last a long time. I will leave a link in my description box to these uh, brushes. I also have a very expensive one from Amazon. But my preference is this one because they come in different widths and depending on the size of canvas that I'm using will depend on the width that I use. So like for example, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas and this one I think is just over two inch in width, like two inches in width and then it's going to blend my striping nicely. My next thing that I uh, think about is my combination colors. The more colors that I put, the better because you get some really beautiful striping in the paint job. And today I'm going to be using one, two, three, four, four colors and then a white. I always like to add a white in these, depending on the colors that I choose, either a white or a warm white, and then a graduation of different colors. Like I've got a couple of darks, then a medium, and then it gets lighter. And these are just extra paints that I have, and I'm hoping, hoping, hoping they don't have too many clumps in them. 
And then the next thing that I like to do, I like to add a lot of paint. Because if I have a lot of paint on my canvas, I don't have to go over my brush strokes too many times. Because if I end up doing that, then I'm going to start blending it too much. And my striping effect is not going to be nice and bold. And I also like to balance all of the colors throughout my canvas. This is a pretty teal topaz. I will just let you know which colors I'm using. I have a desert turquoise. This is aquamarine, another metallic. The um, the teal, yeah, the teal topaz is also a metallic. Let's put some of that right beside this white. And if you've watched my videos long enough, um, after I do my, once I'm starting to do my brush strokes, if I have to add some more paint, I will. And that's another um, nice thing about adding a lot of paint. Um, it gives you a long time before the paint starts um, drying on you. This is Sea Mist Pearl. Yeah, I'm even going over the white, right? Let me even add a little bit more white right here. And maybe some more here. Okay, and then I'm going to load my brush just kind of dab into my paint here and just start going down my canvas. Not too heavy handed. And I might come back over here. Keep my head straight. I have a tendency of cocking my head when I'm concentrating. And once I do that, my stripes are gonna go kind of like this, right? However way I'm cocking my head. And then I'm just going to quickly do my sides. Very light brush stroke, come right back down that canvas. And if I feel that I'm picking up too much paint, I will just wipe it on my paper towel. And I'm doing my sides, um, especially if I know that I'm not going to frame this out.
I will do the sides as I'm going along. And I can even do the sides all the way up and down before I go. That's probably the better way to do it. And then when you come down your canvas with your brush stroke, you don't have to worry about your sides. And then I'm looking across, and if there's a spot that I don't really like the, the striping effect, I'll just go over it again really lightly. Okay, and I'm going to do my sides here before I come down this last stretch of canvas. I'm going to do that rounded corner here. Now I'm really going lightly on my brush stroke because most of my paint is off my canvas now. I'm having a look to see if I need a little bit of dark, like there's a lot of dark over here, so I would like a little more dark on this end. And I think that's the color. It really is easy, you guys, if you just be calm <laughs> and, and enjoy it, right? So now that that part is done, I'm going to get rid of this paper towel. turn this around okay so there's many things now that I could do with this canvas I could use the darker color up top just a nice flat one color um, but of course I'm going to do some more striping because that's the whole idea behind this video but I'm going to do a softer blend and I'm only going to pick two colors I'm going to pick the white And I still want quite a bit of paint on here because that way it's not going to start drying on me and get that coagulating going. I'd rather use extra paint and brush it off than not have enough paint. And then I'm going to use the Aquamarine. It's kind of the middle color from the dark to the light. start okay, 
And I have the same brush, I just washed it. I'll load my brush up again. Now I'm going over, um, I'm doing more brush strokes over it. And if you do end up with not enough paint on there, like you can either add more paint or you can spray it with a little bit of water. I have a very light touch right now with my brush stroke. Pick up some of this aquamarine here to bring down to this end. Turn it around the way it would be hanging. Let's see, that would look absolutely beautiful now with some um, glitter and crushed glass down the line here. Guys, if you have more questions, please send me comments. I read them all the time. I really appreciate them and I will try and answer the best I can with any other questions that you may have. And as always, you guys, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch, and God bless.